Okay, so I got a couple questions asking how my storage system actually even works in this mod pack. So this is all the mods 10. And essentially, our storage system is super basic. We're powering the ME controller with solar panels and an energy cell. It can be any kind. It's going into a little thing known as a Fluix ME glass cable that is then exporting with a crafting terminal as well as an ME storage bus that is linked to a storage controller that is then linked to this entire bank of double stack upgrade tier 5 netherite barrels. And the reason for that is because they can be accessed with, a, with stuff on top of them, they're super efficient, and they are relatively cheap. And then, of course, for getting into, you know, opening it and doing stuff with our... Uh, you know, in inventory storage, so I don't even need to click on the terminal. We've got our quantum link that is then quantumly linked to our quantum bridge card, which has our quantum entangled singularity in it. It's relatively simple. It's not anything too complicated. It's essentially just a ME system with a couple bells and whistles. And it is just incredibly, incredibly cheap. You can use any kind of barrels. The storage links are super easy to make. The storage controller is relatively easy. A storage bus is cheap as well. It's being imported from a uh, import bus in my ender chest stuff, which goes to my farm in the end. And in essence, that's just all it really is. It doesn't need to be overcomplicated or anything. Of course, we've got matter condenser condensing singularities in here but we don't really need those i'm just gonna leave it because we can and i mean that's pretty much all that it really is so i mean i hope this answers the people who had questions and who were interested in finding out what was actually going on and how this works but yeah pretty simple and uh i hope this was explanatory